12 things to do in Lake Garda. Hello and welcome back to our channel everyone. Today we will be taking you on a beautiful tour through Lake Garda. We get that as a tourist it can be hard for you to figure out what to do and this guide video will be all the help that you need. Before we proceed, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel where you can find two things. Places for your next travels, the cultures and traditions. Starting from Italy to the whole world. Get the most stunning view of the Lake Garda from Mel Chesine. Mel Chesine is very stunning. As the promontory's sharp drop continues, it's a small, cobblestone and curving hallowways lead to the harbor, where fishing vessels swing back and forth. Come to Mel Chesine, one of Italy's prettiest tiny towns for its breathtaking vistas, rich history, numerous hiking and sports option, and genuine ambience that will have you believing you have stepped into a classic Italy-based movie. Traveling around Lake Garda by sailboat is the best way to take in its stunning scenery and vibrant hues. Take a boat, kick back and cruise to your heart's content. Whether it Bardolino, Sermione, Riva del Garda, Malchesine or wherever else you choose to go. Using a public boat company to get from one city to another may be the most cost-effective solution. Night tours on Lake Garda are offered during select special events by boat tour companies on Lake Garda, occasionally with the option of food and outdoor bar on deck. Lizzie's is located in the middle of Lake Garda's wine area, yet it might be difficult to get to a vineyard in the country. Take a seat for sampling of red and white wines, olives and grappa at the ZF4 aging cellar and wine store in the heart of Lizzie's. You may look into the history of the vineyard and the claim that has possessed it for centuries if you take a break from touring. The temperate microclimate of Lake Garda is ideal for creating high-quality wine, olives oil, and other fine foods. This food and wine tour through the wines around Lazy's Lake Village will introduce you to the regional cuisine. Local Garganiga and Chiaretta wines are complemented with artisanal cold meats and cheese, extra virgin olives oil, and freshly baked bread. If you like browsing the boots or learning about the artisan practices of the Garda region, the Lake Garda markets will not disappoint. They can be found practically anywhere that overlooks the Binaco River and on any given day and week of the year. The markets have a historical heritage and are a set engagement one day per week either Garda inhabitants and visitors. Every amlet on Lake Garda has a plaza or a stretch of shoreline where the market is held every day, but often in the evening. From Monday through Sunday, there will be stalls selling everything from traditional local handicrafts to apparel, accessories, lake souvenirs, home things and gift ideas. Both collectors and antiques fans will find some shocks at several Garda marketplaces. Marketplaces have been a part of a country's history for decades, if not millennia. 
They are the regular marketplace that draws thousands of people to the province of Verona, not just on the Garda and also in Verona, as well as in Brescia and Bolzano. Cruising on the swells of Lake Garda, windsurf assolates feelings that are uncommon in other sports. At Turbo, we get the safety of a consistent breeze and a healthy and dynamic sports community, so we may feel the whole range of these feelings. Here you will discover the finest materials at Europe's leading windsurfing centers, Vasco Reina Surf Center, Marco Segnana Surf Center, Lido Blue Surf Center, Shaka Surf Center. You may meet numerous athletes and compete in the most significant Italian and global championships at the spectacular new surf club Turbo, an avant-garde facility located on the water. Explore the best bike routes in Limone Sol Garda to get a better sense of the region. The cycling route, which is regarded as among the most attractive in Europe, takes its name from the city of Limone del Garda. The cycling route begins in Capo Riamol, specifically at Via 4 Novembre 92. First and foremost, we propose that you park at Limone Sol Garda. This will help make a gorgeous day outing, crossing through the town center, enter up to take the scenic route of Capo Riamol at the end of a big esplanade on the left, which will start giving you amazing views of curves with crystallization bodies of water and ancient lime woods up to the start of the cycle route. This returning path is roughly 11 kilometers long and somewhat steep on the way back. It is ideal for parents with kids, even those in wheelchairs. The only thing to remember is that the last length is all in the sun, so pack caps and anything else you may need. It's clear that Lake Garda is the best location for sports enthusiasts. Those who like hiking or Nordic hiking will never get bored owing to the huge variety of paths and routes available. It's impossible to overlook Lake Garda's breathtaking scenery, which is peppered with hiking routes for all levels of ability. There is something for everyone in this region, whether you are looking for the medieval splendor of its lovely towns or the 78 miles, 125 km of pleasant beachfront, or the expensive hills and craggy hills that define the environment. Discover Garda's lush southern region, home to the morainic hills, olive fields, wineries and citrus orchards. Explore the magnificent crest of the Gruppo del Baldo, which culminates in the 2,220-meter-high Monte Baldo on the east bank of Lake Maggiore. The Brenta Dolomites loom large above the lake towards the north. This really is the location to go for the greatest open, thrilling and beautiful walks surrounding Lake Garda. Are you taking kids along with you on your tour to Italy or is it more accurate to state that you still have a child spirit? If your answer is yes, I'm taking my kids on this trip, we have got the solution for you. If so, we have found the perfect location for you. For those who visit Lake Garda, there is no way they can miss out on the most exciting amusement park in Italy. This amusement park, which is called Gardaland 
has everything from rides and roller coasters to themed zones and restaurants where you can stop for a bite to eat. Prepare yourself for an adrenaline experience like no other with rides like Blue Tornado and Oblivion, two of the park's most popular attractions. If you are looking for a place to relax and take photos for your fridge, Gardaland provides many options. Visiting the Magic Village is a magical experience that will leave you speechless. Is there anything else you would rather be doing right now? Make sure to remain hydrated as you hope from one amazing ride to the next on this stunning beauty. Lake Garda is one of North Italy's most beautiful vacation spots because of the lake's location in front of the snow-caped Alps. It's a terrific place for water activities, as charming towns dotting its shoreline and offers delicious food and drink around Verona. Moreover, Lake Garda is an excellent beach location. While there's no beach to bathe in, the reservoir itself has several lovely beaches where you can soak up the Italian hot weather while cooling down in the water. Spiaggia Tifu is La Mione Sol Garda's ancient town provides safe bathing and a wide range of attractions such as bars and pizzerias for visitors. It's the perfect place to take the kids for a vacation by the sea. Parco Baia delle Serine, for example, is a more private place, the Bay of Sirens. This beachfront is located on the east coast of Lake Maggiore and it's a great place to eat and relax. Lazis, a little town in the south, is a welcome change of pack. On Lake Garda, the beach at Lazis is one of the greatest thanks to its smooth, sandy surface. Although a local campsite owns a portion of the beachfront, you will still be able to locate a secluded spot to unwind for free. If you are a fan of sports and especially of golf, you will have the time of your life at the Paradiso del Garda Golf Club. The golf club Paradiso del Garda, located amid the South Moraine Mountains of Lake Garda, attracts golfers of all skill levels. The Jim Fazio designed 18-hole layout covers a distance of about 800,000 am square. It provides guests with an opportunity to immerse themselves in nature at its finest. There are five lakes, several bunkers and huge greens, all of which allow for a wide variety of games. Learners may get off to a good start on Paradisetto, a four-hole practice course. The cave's 8,000 m square floor space is yet another unique characteristic. A driving area with covered teeing areas, practice green, pitch green, bunker and pro shop are all available at the famous golf club Paradiso del Garda. White quartz fine sand was used rather than customary gravel coarse sand on the terrace of the club, in the clubhouse's own pool, inside the spa center or in the fine dining restaurant. Two per lar. Group members or greens fee competitors mingle. Italy's Lake Garda is a wonderful place to visit. In addition to lakeside leisure, there are a plethora of fun activities available. In addition, other major Italian towns such as Verona, Milano or even Venice and Bologna 
are just a short drive away. The lake is surrounded by 20 beautiful cities. Most of them are located close on the coast, with pebbly beaches and historic centers nearby. It's a round route that begins in Sermione and ends in Desenzano, which sits at one point in both directions on Lake Garda's south end and its eastern shoreline, respectively. To get the most out of your trip, visit all the towns. Mount Baldo, also called the Garden of Europe, is a 1760-meter high cable car ride away from the city. Thermal parks, hiking trails, cave exploration, and breathtaking waterfalls are just some of the activities available to visitors. Additionally, you may go to the beach, visit a holiday market, and often more based on the weather and the season in which you choose to go. The biggest island in Lake Garda is Isola del Garda. As per historical records, San Francis from Assisi arrived in the area in 1220, after it had been inhabited since Roman times. A magnificent natural environment surrounds the property. There is an Italian landscape on the upper terrace and a fruit orchid with kiwis, lemons and oranges on the lower patio near the lake. The mansion is surrounded by palm trees imported from the Canary Islands. Its park is a true wilderness with an ambience of rare and exotic vegetation. Recently, the area has been available to the public as long as they behave responsibly whilst in the area. From March through October, the island is available to visitors. Tickets provide a free drink as well as two-way ferry journey. Just on the official site, you can get the most current pricing. Concerts and exhibits of classical music and art are among the many activities on the cultural schedule that aim to welcome visitors and acquaint them with the enhancement of this location. The setting may be rented for a one-of-a-kind ceremony ceremony and party for individuals who want a fairy tale engagement. Castle Navovo del Garda is the ideal spot to stay if your primary goal is to explore Gardaland. The motels here are far less expensive than those in the surrounding towns and getting to the parks are a breeze. Here are the prices can be more of a ride, also even starting from 75 euros per night for a double room depending on the area and the period. The three-star exceptional hotel Relais Agli Olivi in Lesis, Italy is nestled in the woods only steps from Lake Garda and offers attentive service in a quiet location, but the prices aren't very cheap. Also, it depends on the period. For example, for a double room in June, the price is about 180 euros for one night. But if you stay at least for five nights, the hotel offers a discount. There's a pool and savanna, as well as a spacious, well-kept lawn at this hotel. During the summer months, there are several hydrofoils, sailboats, and ferries playing the waters of Lake Garda. Toscolano Maderno, Torre del Banaco, and Limione, as well as Malchesine are served by car boats that cross in between east and west beaches. The lake's perimeter is serviced by many public bus routes. If you look to find buses, you can consider to buy also a daily ticket, about 10 euros, so you can move to some different towns around the lake with the same ticket, but not to all the towns. Anyway, you can find the official website of ATV in the description. There are tons of places that you can eat while at Lake Garda. This include Restaurante Casello, just outside of Tenno, 
Osteria tobelino in sarke do calavino. Try Osteria le servite from Arco or head out to Restaurante Navovo 900 Dallocio at Riva del Garda. If you want more information about Lake Garda and the updated prices, check the links in the description. And that's it for today everyone. These were some of the best 12 things you can do while at Lake Garda. Comment down below and let us know which is your favorite one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. We would love to hear your thoughts. If you want to know more places to visit, can't miss watching this video about 10 places to see around Lake Garda. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.